next into the tank is a way to keep kids' creativity mess-free. Hi, Sharks. My name is Amy Leinbach. And I'm Marla Leinbach from Huntington Beach, California. We're seeking $100,000 for 20% of our company. Big B? Will be. Please. Sharks, do you know the best part about arts and crafts time? You're allowed to make a mess. Mess, mess, mess. <laughs> but when I'm all done, the fun stops. There's paper and pom-poms and paste everywhere. And if I don't find my markers and caps that rolled away, they'll dry out. Don't worry, Mommy. That's why I invented the marker parker, the perfect spot to park your markers. Cool, how does it work? Marker parker grips your marker caps tight. So you just remove the drawing part. And when you're done with it, you put it right back. Marker Parker's ergonomic shape and squishy texture makes it easy for kids to grip. And its playful design encourages them to put their markers back where they belong. So, no more markers rolling onto the floor. No more lost marker caps. No more dried out markers. And when a marker does run out of ink, the grown-up just wiggles out the cap. And swishes a new one back in. Finally, an easy system to keep my markers capped and contained at home and on the go. So, Sharks, who wants to help kids increase their independence, develop good organization skills, and save the planet from a whole lot of wasted markers with, with the, the Marker, marker Parker! Parker. <laughs> well done. Well done. Great, Great job! You are Great amazing! Job. Marlo, did you make these drawings? Yes. And those words on top are something you once said. You did a great job. <laughs> I mean, nice job. Marlo, just I just like found you know. something just out like here. Me. I learned I'm bald. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Marlo, how old are you? Seven and a half. You're seven and wow. a half? Wow. Do you want to try out your marker, Parker? Yes. We do. <laughs> so what you're selling is what the markers are in or the whole set? What do um, we make? The marker. Nope, the base. I mean the base. <laughs> yes, okay, so it's a holder. Yeah. So these work for any pens, like you can put whatever markers you want inside? That skew works for broad tip markers, but actually with our current run that's going on right now, we decided to make a little modification in order to make it fit for fine tip markers as well. Amy, it's an eloquent solution, I get it, but what stops the manufacturer having seen this from doing it themselves? We filed a provisional patent back in November. She thought of the idea exactly one year ago, July. Oh, Marlo thought of the idea. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, she invented this. Oh. Yeah. I just helped her take no it idea. to the finish line. And what do you sell it for? What's the price? $15. You do, wow. and what does it cost you to make this? $271 wow. landed. Wow. Nice. That's, That's really, really great. great. So Amy, how are you selling these at the moment? How are you marketing them? So Big B Little B is the business that we started about six years ago. And it just started with a, a towel that I invented for her as a baby. Do you want to share some of our, our products? Sure. Uh -huh. This is the Scrabby. It helps kids learn to wash themselves. It's not sponge, so germs don't collect on it. And it has a solid handle and soft bristles. Oh, great idea. Oh, wow. Marlo, and do you make the straw too? So that, that's the build a straw that becomes a full-size straw. It's completely unique in that. And so when you take it apart, it's super easy to clean. So, so Amy, obviously you have a lot of products in the company. Like, what's your hero product? What are you selling and how mm -hmm. much of it are you selling? Okay, so our hero product has been that little silicone scrubber. So last year, we did $230,000 worth of sales. Of the scrubber? You know, of the of, whole of business, everything. but the scrubber was, you know, is our main product. Of what percentage? And that's with like 80%. Oh, wow. Yeah, but wow. that's with losing all inventory in the second half. It has been unbelievably difficult um, with quality issues, manufacturing, supply chain. On your sales last year, did you make a profit or did you lose money? So we, we grossed 97,000 and we were profitable 
$2,200 through Whoa. it all. So not only did we survive, but we made two grand. Please okay. don't ask me about this what, year. What about this year? Uh, Please don't ask no. me. Please so tell us. I'm kidding. I will address. Okay. I will address that. So this year to date, 110,000. We did not have scrubbies in the first half. Are you making any money on that 110,000 this no, year? No, I have lost a fortune this year. So right now I'm down 77,000 and here's why. 77? Here's why. Oh, when my sorry. daughter came to me with this product idea this time last year, this was not in the pipeline. We have another product back here that already was. The train was moving on that product. But I was raised by parents who reach for the stars, follow your dreams, providing me with every resource they could possibly pull together to, to help me invent, because that's what I loved. I had a fear of numbers and it stopped me from starting a business for a very long time, but they supported me. And so I support her. And when she had this idea, I asked her, I said, this is brilliant. Do you want to make this for other children? When she said yes, I found the money. I found the money. I've invested so far $100,000 of my own money. If you ask me in two weeks from now, I'll tell you I invested $166,000 of my wow. own money. So Amy and Marlo, wow. uh, just, let me just say that Please. you know we don't get many seven-year-olds in here holding the fort. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Very impressive, Kevin. very impressive. You did a great job. And, and Amy, um, wonderful that you're supporting your daughter towards a journey of entrepreneurship. That's great. However, telling me you have fear of numbers, that's not a good story. I know. As an investor, what I look for is an opportunity to take my capital and pour it on a working business model. Mm -hmm. It's like pouring gasoline on a fire and I get my returns because I accelerate by helping that company grow and acquire customers and all the other things that a shark does. This has a lot of problems in it right now. May I uh, challenge you for a second, please? Well, I want to get to a place here. Sure, sorry. I'm out. I think you're gonna wanna take that back. Well, let's see. This is what's next. This is the food container. It food, for like a sandwich. Food. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and it could fit a whole apple in there. So are they are they silicone sandwich storage, yeah. individual like self? Yes, yeah, so Guys, basically. Let me, let me jump in real quick here. Okay. Right. Look, one of the great traits of any good entrepreneur is resilience, and you certainly have shown that. But you also have inventoritis. Right, which is one of the worst traits an entrepreneur can have because you lost $77,000. You've got to solve the problems that are in front of you first. If you would have come in and said, the marker, we're shipping it, we've got these we sales, we we've, got, we've got cash in the bank. It's going in Bye Bye Baby. Just because it's in Bye Bye Baby, you would be telling us the numbers, right? I also tell you the numbers, $8,500 in sales. How many units have we sold? Over a thousand. <laughs> Over a thousand. Amy, I'm out. I'm out. Okay. Sorry. Amy, are you doing this alone? No. Oh, yeah. well, of course. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Of course. The of course. Is my life. Yeah. The but, 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 yes. I completely love your teaching your daughter how to think big and how to be creative and inventive. At the same time, when you come up with an idea, you perfect it. You make that one product a huge success and then you go to the next. Mm -hmm. So I think you just have overextended yourself in every way. I'm so sorry. I'm out. Guys, I, I really, so I really admire what you've done. And I think just seeing the two of you stand here as a mother and daughter, it's just like amazing. You know, it warms the heart. I do think that you've probably overextended yourself a little bit. There's so many products in this brand that I don't quite understand what you stand for, right? And I do think there's an element of having a hero product, you really, really perfecting that, and then thinking about other things. At the moment, the approach just feels a little bit scatterbrained. And while this might be an amazing business for you two, I just don't think it's something that I can invest in. So for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you for your time. Oh, you're so oh, welcome. You're so, oh, you're so welcome. welcome. Marlo, I have four-year-old twins, and they love to draw. They would love something like this. And I know you can't see it, but I have bees on my suit. <laughs> and so I love the bees. I love bees. Um, Amy, I was going to make you an offer until you started showing us more products. I think 
You know, when you're really small, you have to be laser focused. And I kind of feel that your real strength and value is inventing. So perhaps you look at us as a design studio and license these products. Amy, I, I think you are phenomenal at design. That's a really good way to look at it. But if you're a design studio, you need somebody to sell it. I'm not so much a licensed guy. I want to help build a business around this. I mean, I wish you all the best, but for the business investment, I'm sorry I'm not. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck, Thank guys. You. Good luck, guys. Good luck, guys. Keep on doing what you're doing. Thank you, guys. Yeah, Good job, Marlo. You're amazing. Good job, Marlo. You're amazing. Job, Marlo. You're amazing. I'm happy that Mama got what she wanted. She like she always wanted to go on Shark Tank, and she's on Shark Tank now. I did get what I wanted, honey. Well, Robert, I think you did a great job of crushing Marlo's dreams. No kidding, dreams. I was going to make you an offer. Seven and a half oh years old, she's God. decimated. I mean, oh, I was, I was. Well, then do it. It broke my heart what you did. I wept like a baby.